I arrived in Dili in October of 2008. I was there to visit Ramachar. That's a district the group in Kangaroo Valley have been assisting since 2000. We'd been thinking about getting a solar lighting project up and running. But my first job was to work with a team from the Alternative Technology Association, installing solar power systems in Maliana, down on the West Timor border. With Nick and Callum, I picked up the systems and headed west along the coast. Adios! Até logo! On the way, we passed through Balibo, a place name you may recall. That's where five journalists were killed by Indonesian troops in 1975. In Maliana, we met up with Joe Vicente, who was representing Friends of Maliana, a group from Leichhardt, and we spent the next five days installing solar systems in schools. Put you back into it, Brian. So this is Antonio. He's been trained to uh, put the systems together. One of the schools was next door to the UN compound. And one was up a goat track overlooking the river that separates East and West Timor. Indonesian border post is just over there. It was great working with all the kids around. They're a happy bunch. Buen dia. We came back to Dili and then I drove up to Ramachar. This is the area that our group in Kangaroo Valley have had a partnership with since 2000, shortly after Timor became independent. Bon dia! No <laughs> need. Padre David showed us the library he just set up at the school. So uh, we collect all the books uh, from the nuns, from the Portuguese army, or Portuguese army and uh, whoever. They, uh, sometimes they bring some, some books and we collect. Anton Wikström and Justin Stewart from the Alternative Technology Association and Chris Adams from Friends of Alu in Australia joined Padre David and me and we drove out to Tunamana. Padre David had come to celebrate Mass and we were here to meet with the wow. people about setting up a solar lighting wow. project. The welcome we received was overwhelming. I think all 500 people from Tunamana, Kudanara and Likasar were here. Just walking down through the uh, village. All the houses, they're all of um, traditional construction except for a few buildings down here. No water up in this village, and what they've got is a one hour return trip. Somewhere down, um, I hope not down to the bottom of the valley, because it looks as though it's about oh, 2,000 feet down. We're a long way up. It's quite spectacular, but tough country. is right on the top of the mountain. It's totally exposed. Local people, they're saying that um, it's mischief makers, that uh, it's not really necessary and people, some people do it just to create uh, problems. So uh, yeah, I guess we have arsonists up here just like back in Australia. Bondari.
We're in the uh, tapu or cooking house. And it's a bit difficult to see because it's quite dark in here, but they cook down there in that little fire down there. And then the smoke goes up and all the ceiling, it's all black. And there's actually no hole out the top to let the smoke go, get out. So it must get a bit sore on the eyes. This room does. Living house, living, living room. Yeah. And people sleep in there. Yeah, this is a yeah, little rain, local really lamp yeah, burning kerosene, mineral oil, <laughs> mineral oil, made out of a paint tin, wick. So, 10 bucks a month on burning this little pot of paint. Just having a bit of a break from walking up the hill from the bottom of the village. Just sitting here waiting for Padre David to finish his uh, mass. Uh, doing small solar power systems in houses. Yeah. I love your country. Viva Timor-Leste! <laughs> After mass we met with the villagers to talk. They were very enthusiastic to go ahead with lighting all 120 homes in the villages and saw it as a means to greatly improve their lives. Just about to leave and these guys are our ballast in the back of the car to hold the weight down on our wheels so we don't spin. Just before 8 o'clock and the kids are just about to go into school. Padre David's just put in these tanks and um, these ponds here and he's uh, going to try and get uh, fish farming going here. This is the roundabout that the people of Remesho would like to develop by fencing off, planting trees and shrubs and building a statue representing the symbol of Remesho. They've got some of the money but need some more so they've asked us if we could help. This panorama of Dili from near Janana's house. Down the uh, road where um, Janana was shot. That was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 last year. Okay. September 11. Yeah. People are all gathered here for a mass just near our hotel. Last day in Timor, people are out and about their business, guys out fishing, people at the market, everybody you meet says bon dia. <laughs> it's hard to imagine just the tragedy that's happened to this place. So tomorrow I go back to Australia with the resolve to see the lighting project up and running. <laughs>